Hi guys, how you doing? It's Lynn here from Live, Laugh, Learn. And today I wanted to talk to you about Neville Goddard's um, Everyone Is You Pushed Out and what that actually means. A lot of people find it hard to understand what he's actually trying to say in that. And um, I just really wanted to put it into the simplest way I possibly can is that Everyone Is You Pushed Out is um, also a bit like if you understand the mirror technique where like attracts like it's the same thing if you are thinking something of someone um, and I'll use an example of just say that um, your specific person you're thinking does not want to be with you because they want to be with someone else or um, if you're holding that thought then that thought is repelling them from you. So that's keeping them away from you because you have that thought that they actually want to be with somebody else or they don't want to be with you, all right? So everything is you pushed out, you need to sit down and you need to look at your story that you're telling yourself in regards to what you're trying to manifest. And a specific person is usually what 90% of people are trying to manifest so we're going to talk about that so if you hold the story that uh, they don't want to be with you and then um, when you're talking to them and, and you're saying to them you know why don't you want to be with me if you're coming from a place of they don't want to be with me already you're going to repel them away so your thoughts work either to repel people from you or to bring people to you so you need to change your story if your story is okay um you know of course such and such wants to be with me i'm fantastic you know or um um you know such and such contacts me every day but if you but if you're sitting there thinking oh i don't hear from them very much uh you know they're probably not even thinking about me blah 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 then that's the exact story that's going to be there all right so everyone as you pushed out is a is basically a mirror image of what your thoughts are is what you will attract into your life so if you're thinking that they don't want to be a part of your life or that they don't want anything to do with you, then you're actually creating that. So you need to change your story. And the best way to do it is to sit down with a trusted notepad and a pen and to go through all of your thoughts, what your thoughts are that you hold on whatever subject, you know, even if it's to manifest money or, um, you know, manifest good family relationships or, or whatever it may be that, that you actually are trying to manifest. You need to look at the story that you're telling yourself on the inside of your subconscious mind because that is um, the series of events that will unfold. So if you're telling yourself that that person doesn't want to be with you, then that person won't want to be with you. If you're telling yourself that you're the best person for that person or that you're, um, you know, you're amazing, you're fantastic, of course they want to be with you, blah, 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 then that's the way it's gonna be. And uh, you just need to change your story. So everyone as you pushed out means that whatever you're thinking, is what you are manifesting. So whatever your thoughts are, you are bringing that into your life. And you'll probably see this, uh, if you really stop and think about this, um, over, over life, you've probably known people who have always been in relationships with people who have always cheated on them or, um, you know, it's just time after time a person's done the same thing to them. And that's because they hold that inner story that when they're with someone, that they're going to cheat on them and so they bring that upon themselves even though that's not a not a nice situation for anyone to be in it's it's a reflection of where they sit um, in their subconscious mind that they will bring upon a series of events which will lead to the person that they love cheating on them. So you need to change your inner story. If you don't want those sorts of things to continue to happen to you, you need to, number one is own it. So you need to own that whatever happens on the outside starts from within, all right? So whatever happens from, from the outside starts from within. It must be a thought of yours somewhere because thoughts become things, all right? So change your inner story. 
sit down, write out all the negatives that you can think of and turn them all around. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, you know, my specific person doesn't want to be with me, then cross that out. My specific person wants to be with me, I'm the best person for them. And go through all of the negatives and turn them around to positives. Because Neville is right, everyone is you pushed out. And if you think about it in probably in different situations within your own lives, you'll actually see that it's true. And you'll be able to pinpoint your thoughts at the time and how that all transpired, okay? Um, it's personally worked for me, like I know that I've caused some things in my life that uh, has been me pushed out through uh, traumatic experiences of my past. And um, I've actually turned all those around now and, you know, um, yeah, it's it, everything is you pushed out. Sit down, be honest with yourself, take ownership. Whether you, you know, if it was a specific person or an ex, um, whether you were the dumped or the dumpy, you know, you need to own your part in it because a series of events transpired because it was within you. You brought that on, all right? So you need to take ownership of it in order to move forward and um, just understand that what you think will actually unravel before you. So you need to be really, really careful of what goes on on the inside of your mind and you need to choreograph your own story that is a positive story that that is, um, that, that contains everything that you want in your life, all right? So sit down and even if you have to write a story out and read it over and over and over until it becomes second nature to you so that you can believe with everything that you have 100% that that is you, that you know, you're the best person for your specific person, your specific person contacts you all the time because you know, they just want to be with you, they, they love being around you, all of those sorts of things, all right? So you need to change your inner story, own whatever's happened in the past because you bought it on yourself and then move forward by creating a new story, okay? And just remember, everyone is you pushed out. That's like a mirror reflection of what you thought, all right? So I hope this uh, explanation's made it a little bit easier for you. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm doing video new videos every day for my channel. Uh, live, laugh, learn, and yeah, I'd like, Comment down below where you're from, I'd love to know, and uh, yeah, bye.